situation with Charlie Adams and his contract? Has that been resolved then? No, I was hoping you could tell me. Apparently your cameras are down in London. So yeah. get on the phone and let me know. Um, as I said last week, Charlie's played, he scored, he kissed the badge, you know what it's all about. This day and age, Charlie and I haven't got a problem. He's sorting it out with the club. Right now, someone's going to make a decision on it and we'll move on, one way or other. And that's, that's football for you. So um, hopefully that'll um, be resolved and we'll move on as a football club. I'll move on as a manager, Charlie will move on as a human being. But, you know, I can't ask for any more from him at the moment. Um, playing well, that's all he's got to concentrate on. And the world will be his oyster, if you ask me. And that was the conversation we had when he first joined. I want to make you a better player. I want to give you a stage to play on him. Just go and play some. Because I believe in you and, and nothing's changed for me and him. How much easier for the team for you on the training field has this week been, given, as you say, you've got the monkey off your back now? Um, well, so much so, I took him playing snooker just now. Um, if you saw the weather, the last couple of days, wasting our time out there. So we'll do some training tomorrow, but I've told him a few important things. I've showed him one or two bits before we went to the, the, this place. They didn't expect it. It's lifted them again, and we'll get on with a very busy week next week. Um, with three games in it and nine points to fight for, which we're not used to yet. We haven't done that. First of those games against an Everton side that seems to have turned the corner. Well, you put corners in, don't you? You press people. They started the season, they were bottom of the league. Someone's got to be after a ridiculously short amount of games, small amount of games. And they've had a few problems with injuries and a couple of new players getting in. And now, look at them. I'm expecting them to be challenging the right end of the table by the end of the season, and I'm sure they will be. Um, fantastic set of players. Great to see Seamus playing now. He came and helped us last year. He's a fantastic lad. Breath of fresh air, and I'm delighted for him that he's got an Everton's team. So, um, you know, when you look at the quality that they've got around the place, it's a fantastic job David's done. Gives me all sorts of hope because he hasn't spent that much money. You. Uh, the Tottenham incident, um, by the letter of the law, the referee was right. But what I'm trying to say, week in, week out, the fourth official should have said, actually, that's a handball, blow your whistle. So the ref would have gone, and then the goalie, who actually looks like he made a mistake now, but we all knew it was a handball, didn't we? I think whether Nanny was going for a penalty or not, the referee sort of waved sort of play on, but it wasn't clear, was it? And then Nanny goes and sticks it in. So the fellow who looked like he wanted a penalty fell on the ball, handballed it, got up and scored. Duh. That is a no-brainer for me. Rubbish. Fourth official, blow your whip. Uh, that's handball. Restart with a free kick for Tottenham. Thanks ever so much. Don't, now, luckily, it was already 1-0. What if that made it 1-0? That's what I'm saying. And I got some faith back in that maybe I'm not as small a club as I thought. Maybe West Brom are as small as us because now we got some decisions that went our way. That don't normally happen, and it certainly don't against the big, big clubs, does it? Because it's um, law of averages. Maybe I'm totally wrong by the end of the season, we will get our doubts of luck, but Tottenham certainly did, and it shouldn't be down to luck, should it? It shouldn't, it shouldn't be a roll of a dice. If you can see it with your information you give us, to judge it, then why can't the fourth official use that? Absolute no-brainer for me. That's too simple for words. Technology, use it at the highest level. It's already there. Thank you very much. No mistakes. That's what we all want. Other sports do it. Why can't we?